crazy towns. Ten minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. Ding. TNT. Yo. I saw an article the other day. Okay. And it, it and it's it's very I don't know, Gen Z ish titled article, I guess. Hey, but 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 ultimately go. it's I think at its base level it is like kind of the truest thing. It says in the end, climate change is the only story that matters. And I got to thinking about that and I was like, you know, that's true. No matter all the the crap going on in the world, there's wars, there's financial crises, there's all this stuff. But at the bottom line of everything, if the planet is uninhabitable, none of that, none of that stuff matters at all because we'll all be dead. <sighs> so ultimately, the climate crisis is the only problem that people should be focusing on because. It, uh, wow, yeah, um, wow, Jonas, this is. This is this is very uh, this is a politicized topic. Well, and for the record, I'm not like a. I mean, like yes, I I feel like the climate is important, right? But I'm not like a left wing climate person. Like I don't. Ha I'm not out here in the streets, uh, protesting for climate, right? Okay, you know, while while you you might not be active, you might not be an activist. No, I'm definitely not. An you activist. definitely have a, a lot of views that lean in that direction. And I'm I'm gonna have to say is like I I agree with you, but only to a point. I feel like yes, we should be paying more attention to it because science has proven is that we are doing things to the planet that we're going down a dark path when it comes to that. Oh yeah, and more and more things like big giant ice caps are breaking off, and like you know, yeah, there's yeah. some. I mean, we're getting to some really serious tipping point situations with a lot of this. And this is this is like uh, this is like that health issue that a person has that they're just like they let keep going, and then it ends up just like taking them out. Right, or like, well, I mean, for I mean, I won't get into specifics, but I know I've known a person who were like, oh, I got this cough, I got this cough, oh, this cough won't go away, ha ha, doctor can't figure it out, and then they're like, oh, you have cancer. Uh, and they're like, oh, wow, I should have probably thought that cough was more, like, it's not normal to have a cough for, like, a year. Yeah, like, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, you should have, like, yeah. instead of being like, oh, I guess I just have a cough, like, push a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. and it's tragic, right? But, it like, is. people do that crap all, they're like, oh, man, my knee hurts, my knee hurts. Next thing you know, like, it, you really effed up your knee you because. Platella tendonitis. Yeah, sure, exactly, all that. <laughs> Whatever that is. Yeah, yeah, I got a big case of the patella tendonitis, you know? It's, yeah, it's, but I, I do feel like there are there are things that are, well, I wouldn't say equally as as imperative to handle, but they're still pretty imperative to handle, man. We got, right now, we got, you know, countries at wars with each other. People are dying right, right now. Well, right, you know, but, if the, but, if the, but if the plan is uninhabitable, what's it matter who's fighting who? We're all going to be fighting everyone for whatever's left. What it's going to be war everywhere. What does it matter what the goddamn weather is if a nuclear bomb goes off in my living room? Yeah, but that's still climate related. What do you... It's not, it is not because the wind didn't blow the nuke into my living room. Yeah, but room. I mean, yes, the explosion, no. But all the fallout, that's all wet. That's all like weather. It's going to change climate. But what does it matter if it goes off, though, is what I'm saying. It's like, you can't, you can't be like, well, the weather will be effed up if you're dead. I don't care what the weather is once I'm dead, all right? I mean, you're not wrong. But everyone else left will have weather effects based oh, on well, that. Oh, well, you know what, Jonas? I'm going to have to say it. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if I'm dead. How about that? <laughs> if um, I died from a nuclear bomb and you're pissed off because of the rain, screw you. I All mean, right, buddy? Screw yeah, you. Yeah, but it's – no. And like – right. And, and I agree with you too. I just – but like at the base level, it's not – completely wrong yeah, because yeah, yeah. you know like yeah oh yeah the banks ha 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 money this that the other this that yeah. inflation you're yeah. like but dude if like yeah. everyone's fighting for any sort of sustenance and being able to survive and electricity and all this yeah. crap because of whatever it's going to be way uglier and now there are countries that are making moves towards this oh, there's been there's been a host of countries that have uh made moves to do only evs electric vehicles and uh, America is also, you know, they're trying to get more into that space. There's been some bills proposed, and I think even a few that have passed. Yeah, I think California was like within the next ten years or something. Yeah. They're only going to sell EVs, and they're going to put in. Yeah. And I just saw something where the U.S. is going to put in like something like seventeen thousand charging stations mm -hmm. across the mm -hmm. major highways across the state for people mm -hmm. to charge their cars and blah 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 blah. Yeah, but, and and I, I feel like is that that is definitely moving in the right direction. Is it enough? No, it's not. It's not enough. And that's where people get the idea of like, 
if you're not going to really do it, then why are you just like you're putting a Band-Aid on a, a stab wound? It's it's not really going to do anything. It may give you like an extra year on, on the on the lifespan of the planet, but it's not. Yeah. What does that extra year? Oh, really yeah. But, matter? Here, but here. But here's here. We'll go. I'll go. I'll go real deep weird on it. Right. So I think. Potentially, yeah. a lot of the people who in this in this day and age, there is a lot of old people in charge of things yeah and as there always seems to be so they're in in their mindset they may not have the urgency where they're like well by the time i'm gone this won't be my problem i'm gonna keep getting as rich as i can right now until i die and then let everyone else deal with it and if it was like if it was younger folks trying to take it over like i need the world to be around so i can live to be as old as you are it i so i think it's like the mindset is like until these Old old folks who have been around and in power forever start coming out. It it will be harder to get them to do things to benefit all rather than benefit them. There was a statement made. I'm a such a quote guy. I don't know what it is about me. There was a statement made that as long as there are people that cannot let go of the way things were, we can never see how truly great things can be exactly well i mean that happens in everything not like countries businesses everything you look at these businesses that don't they don't adapt to the times and they die you think they're too big to fail and then they don't evolve with technology or whatever mm-hmm. and then they're like oh we're we, we got the market we're did it and then all of a sudden like I mean, like, look, look at the gas industry. They're trying to hold on to their tendrils as much as they can because they know as EVs come in, yeah. they're going to lose their... So they're trying to bank now. Yeah, and it's, that's why it's they're... It's definitely all a ploy. There's a lot of, yeah. Oh, man, yeah, there's all calculated. sorts of stuff. So, I mean, like, yes, I definitely think that people should be more aware of the planet. Do I do everything that I could do to, to help save the planet? Not really. No. I, I mean, we do, we do recycle some, not as much as we probably could, but we do recycle some. Yeah. That, I mean, that helps a little bit. You know, I try to like not just leave lights on all the time and stuff. Like, but I mean, it's it's very the individual. In my defense, we are boomers. <laughs> In my defense, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, man. I like it's it's just it's it's it. it Speaking of impending doom for the planet. James, oh yeah, what's going on? Did you hear about what NASA did with shooting a rocket into an asteroid to uh? They shot a an a, they shot an asteroid that orbited a northern another asteroid that was deemed potentially dangerous, and were able to knock it off course and hurtle it away from the Earth. Oh, so it was basically just like proof the concept that if we were to be um, in the path of a dangerous potential, like, like the 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 doomsday asteroids coming yeah, towards us, like yeah. an ELE, just like an extinction level event type asteroid were to be coming at us, we have. Some re- we have some recourse to defend us. It wasn't a laser; it was a projectile. But but I mean, I think I, well, and honestly, dude, I think that's okay because it's like if if it's like this thing is going to hit us and it could wipe us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. W- let's try to shoot it with rockets or anything Something. we can before it gets here. Even if even if it then hits in in little smaller pieces and still pummels the earth, yeah. it's not going to be a giant like a giant one big like boom like they exactly. think happened with the dinosaurs right exactly and it's pretty cool man there's actually video footage of it right like as it's going in for impact so you get to see like this asteroid in space and it kind of looks like it kind of hmm, what does it look like it looks like like if you ate a bunch of almonds or like pistachios okay and and then you were to like like and you still had like pieces of almonds and pistachios in your when you it out. It kind of looks like oh, like that. a corn turd. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Yes, yes, right. yes. Like it looks like it has. So teeth. it's just like it's like a like you've like, been eating teeth it's, or something. It's rocks with other minerals and stuff in it too. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's very weird looking though, but it, it's still a cool idea. Either way, we need to keep the planet safe. Yeah, save so. that planet. All yeah. right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Oh yeah.